You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at small Joe and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me and he's not even going to try. So Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we used to go one-on-one -on -one, and then add 66 and two-thirds percents I got 141 and two-thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. And welcome to OSW Review, the old school wrestling video podcast filmed in glorious grapple vision and encoded with blast processing. We chronologically critique wrestling storylines, pay per view by pay per view. It's your boy Jay Hunter, joined as always with V1. What's the crack? And OSE. B -do. It's TNA Genesis in America. Here in Europe, it's TNA Mega Drive. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Terra 4 out of 10. <laughs> uh, big news, Stephen. Have you heard? The news today. It seems my life is going to change. OSW has crossed 200,000 subscribers. Holy fucking shit balls. Well Golf done. clap. Golf <laughs> clap. I will accept the claps. Thank you. I'm <laughs> adding myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the ceiling? What a, I'll, I'll give my prediction for the ceiling. Seven billion. Oh my goodness, seven billion. <laughs> well, 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 it's just with the fans we have now plus all of India. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think 500,000 is a realistic goal, a pragmatic goal, let's say. The YouTube sub number doesn't really bother me. We've got like really awesome fans, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm very happy with the... The type of fan we with have. With the type of fan, yeah. nice, honest fan. Intelligent, funny, yeah, handsome. You know? But Steve, Suave. Steve, let me ask you. Say we had three fans. Would what you said would that still ring true? Is one of them you, or have you subscribed? <laughs> Definitely not. Hey, I have Emma. subscribed. <laughs> I actually have subscribed. Okay. So what do you think, Steve? No. If we had three fans, we wouldn't be doing. No, we, <laughs> we would have quit. Yeah, we would have quit many the moments fans, ago. Steve, right? Come on. Yeah, yeah, but the actual fans, you know, like the fans who were following us and who've been with us. the show. Yeah, right. not just a random number on a counter or a bot, yeah. you know? Yeah, I don't want bots. I don't like bots. Like, I'd rather have our fans than, like, IGN's millions who are mean to them. Yeah. For me, every single fan is amazing. I get a buzz out of one, one single fan subscribing. I just think you're all right. <laughs> you know, give you a thumbs up. No, I'll, I'll shout what bar at you from across the street. <laughs> I have proof of this. <laughs> <laughs> from all out. All in. From all in. Okay. Anyway, so thank you to all of our fans. All 200,000 of you. That's insane. Thank you so much, Braz. It's been an amazing 12 years. I'll, you know, hope you'll enjoy the next... Uh, what's the average life expectancy in Ireland? <laughs> 80 plus. Oh, sorry, mate. Hello, <laughs> 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 winner is you. Okay, that's pretty good. We got a lot of stuff there, but just, yeah. just one more. Thing. What? Yeah. You just want one more, yeah? yeah. Another day? No. 
Another dollar. Go on. Another dollar. What about it? Another OSW oh, yeah. tattoo. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, so, so Nathan, in America, he would be called Nathan Forward. Okay. In any other country in the world, he's called Nathan Forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have got, on, it looks like his left leg under his knee, a shiny, vibrant, macho man Randy Savage on top of OSW, the letters, beautiful artwork, perfect. No mistaking, it's an OSW tattoo. It looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh, it's really good. Whoever drew it was awesome as well. Absolutely perfect. Like I said, Steve, I think the word is vibrant. Mm. I love the use of the kind of blue here with the shading of the top of the letters, do you know, as well? Beautiful. He's managed to make shading despite it being kind of ink on skin. You know, I, I just, I don't know ink, what the term ink. of that is. But <laughs> ink, ink. Well, leave it that. Sorry, mate. So that's two of your stable. <laughs> you stuff already. <laughs> Jesse Neal and Shannon Moore. Sorry, mate. <laughs> but okay, so if you had pre locked the, the stable and you didn't want to yeah. let them in, who would he have? Who would he have? He doesn't have a boy stable, does no, he? No. Ring the class bell. Who is in the school of boy? Ding, ding, ding. Right in the front row. <gasps> I love loving this. Go on. We have. S.A. Rios. Ooh. Old Papi Chulo himself. If you had asked me when did he pop onto the roster, I would have said like 97, 98. That was like 2000, right? 2000, what? Matt. 2000. Charlita broke up with him yeah. to go with Matt mm. and Jeff. Right? Yeah. Feuding with like Eddie, having mixed tag Ooh, matches hey. with S.A. and Lita versus Eddie in China. China was wearing like a prom dress and like Lita like ripped it off and then she wore it the next night on Raw. Okay. Yeah, great. Lita's wearing China's prom dress. I can't believe it. Next up, sitting over there in the corner, mm. Nails. Ooh, definite quality boy. You know, in terms of top 10 eligibility of boys, he's way up there. Perfect boy. And like, yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Back in whatever, 92, scared the shit out of me. And we covered it on the show. Fantastic. The little voice boxy thing. Was, who's the boss now, yeah. boss man? It was great. Can you give us a bit of who's the boss now, boss man? Um, in the normal voice? Oh, in the nails voice. In the nails voice. Back to nails voice. Who's the boss? No. Can't. <laughs> yeah. No. Who's the boss now, boss man? Brilliant boy. Yeah. Absolute boy. His run with Boss Man, Nightstick on a pole match, mm. Survivor Series 92, and then his amazing match at SummerSlam 92 with Virgil, where oh, yeah. he spent like seven minutes choking because he was very, very limited, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and it was that pay-per-view, which, you know, the big show in Wembley, how topical. He felt he deserved an extra 150 grand as a payout. And so he went straight into Vince's office, cornered him, bowled him over his chair and, and started choking him. And, uh, you know, agents like Jack Lanza, Sergeant Slaughter, pulled him off. <laughs> you know, when, and Brett was like, oh, should I, should I do something? But it happened in a flash anyway. And then when they left, he was like, oh, he raped me. He ra- oh, he diddled me. He, <laughs> he, you know, his thing, he got me. He got me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so even though he would have been choking Vince, he was able to say, hey, you diddled me and everyone dropped it. Because sure, Vince is dealing with the steroid trial and you know, a litany of other <laughs> trials, so he's not going to take on nails. Good job, mate. Well done. But he would try to get his last laugh in by testifying against Vince in the steroid trial. And we've actually gotten it animated. It's so funny. For SummerSlam 94. Isn't it a fact you have a personal animosity against Vince McMahon? No. Do you hate Vince McMahon? Yes. <laughs> 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 Fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes it sound like he doesn't know what the word animosity means. Yeah. Very good, very good. Anyway, go on up. Next up, tough enough one winner, Maven. No. Ooh. Like de- obviously, mega boy, but... Uh, like D-bombs, obvi- like, mate. Like Jay, it was like Crash Holly, it was Maven, uh, and then I know you went for test in the end, but in terms of like your go-to boy... It was always those three. I don't like how you're. you're there's an after school. There's an after school special. An after Shane Sewell yes, special. After Sewell special <laughs> <laughs> that you've been pushing boys on me. Uh, like, I don't know, Jay. You're adding this. Guy. I've never had Maven. You he were was never. Big, you were no, big no, no. on Maven. Like. I just think he's a nice man, who seemed very nice. He was athletic. He was. He, he had a nice drop. Good. Yeah. yeah. Very sculpted eyebrows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Probably his biggest moment, you know, is when he drop kicked Taker out of the Rumble. Yeah. Then oh, got a huge spot. Battered. That man. was so great. It was good. It's a wasn't highly it? memorable spot. Yeah. Oh my God! My God! Maybe prepare for that! Dr. Ryan is the Undertaker! What? My God, my God, I don't believe it! The contempt on Taker's face, there is like confusion, anger disbelief and like building rage all in one facial yeah. expression is amazing he also turned down evolution do you remember he was offered a spot what a <laughs> it was a uh, survivor series 2004 the babyface team won so everyone got to like bgm for a night and he was like okay i want to take on triple h for the world title and tra comes back with hey about instead you join evolution Wow, as if Triple H ever thought Maven could beat him. Yeah. I mean, then again, he did beat the Undertaker for the hardcore title, so you know he's a t- anything's possible. He's mm. a Anything he's a tough happen. man, you know. Mm. In the world of wrestling, yeah. <laughs> so there's there's a great <laughs> if it has to do with wrestling. <laughs> um. So you know, Maven's contemplating this, doesn't know what to do backstage, and Jericho and Benoit come up to him and convince him to take the bout. Jericho is like, yeah, "You gotta do what's right," and it was shit. But like Benoit, actually, quite a good promo. He said, "Maven, well, how long have you been in the business? Three years. I've been in here eighteen years. It took me eighteen years to get the world title. It's about the passion. Go out there and do it." And so they actually have the match, and it, it was actually really great because he was the babyface and babyface Jericho, babyface Benoit, babyface Orton all come down to try help him win the world title. Mm. And, and Triple H going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kick. It's all about the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about John. <laughs> and it was actually Snitsky made the difference. Wow. The what a shame. Fantastic. But it wasn't Who's the object of Snitsky's ire now? Oh, God. It's Maven. Do it. I'll tear her. Show him the He in the game. He's the champion there. Show the game. I thought, Fantastic. I thought you meant shoot Maven turned down evolution. Oh, no, no. It's just a, like a raw storyline. Okay, uh, that would have been... If, if he shoot turned him yeah. down, that would actually be up there for the dumbest thing any wrestler has ever yes. done. I think Senshi Kaval saying, oh, you can have a shot of any title you want. I'll take the IC title. <laughs> was fortunate enough to hit him with the one move I could do, a drop kick, while his back was turned. That that changed the, the entire trajectory of my career. That one night in Atlanta, Georgia, it wouldn't have happened without his approval, without his blessing. And he didn't have to do what 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 he did for me, but he did it, and thus gave me a career. Taker, thank you for a career. Who's the next truant boy? Sitting right next to Nails. Mm. Boss man. Boss boob. Back from our early days when we were covering the Hulkamania era. Boss man and his uh, shirt popping open. Love that. <laughs> Tagging with Akeem and yeah. his... Uh, the dream. Yeah. The African dream, baby. That was great. Mm. His outside crescent kick. Yes. Yes. Loved that. Then, of course, then, as you go forward in time, the bollocks with Al Snow when he kills his dog and cooks him. We have the kennel from Hell match. Get those dogs on their leash! Right down! There was a time he was feuding with the Big Show and <gasps> he dragged his dad's coffin along yeah. in his car with the Big co- Show hanging on to it. Coffin surfing. Am- amazing moments. Obviously, his feud with Nails, as we talked about. And uh, Man, then, this guy's done it all, hasn't he? Yeah. He's, he's been around. And then there was a time when he went to WCW and he dressed like uh, one of the cast from Always Sunny when they were Guardian Angels. And that's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's he couldn't be a... Warden, yeah, and so he had to have the the red beret, the little beret, like Super Mario, the yeah. little <laughs> he wearing suspenders. Yeah. <laughs> Tough guys don't wear suspenders. I bet you anything, he knew magic tricks. Like if there were Ooh. any crying children, he could placate them. <laughs> <laughs> we will allow it, but like he's really well known and I would say well liked in the business, and he had a great career. But yeah, okay, we'll allow it. But what I'm most impressed about with Bossman is he lost a lot of weight and he looked great later in his career yep. and he kept the weight off fair play to him and I like his kind of chop punch he does it like a pew. yeah it looks yeah. great you know like thrust you, almost if you saw a creative wrestler do that kind of punch chop you'd know that's boss man's so good luck to you sir 
Um, does he have the like keys to the stable on his? Do you know he's got the oh. key? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, 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 is that it? Uh, we have Bottom Boy, oh. all-time legend, both in the real world and in OSW land. Quake Muffin. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Earthquake. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yes. Legendary yeah. wrestler. Absolutely. Huge, hugely over with us anyway. And generally. It does help that he is not as appreciated in his time. So like everyone who's seen him and knows that he's an excellent wrestler really pushes for him. I think he was appreciated in his time. I think he was really over. Yeah. But you get a world title shot. I don't only think about, it was, yeah, back but he then only was like, the heel of the month coming in to be beaten by uh, was, Hogan. Yeah, wasn't not not happening at SummerSlam. No? Yeah, yeah, was yeah. it not longer than a month? It was mostly just SummerSlam. Was it? Yeah. That was it. And when it hits, Hulkamania will crumble once and for all into complete <laughs> devastation. Oh, I can't believe it. Like he was excellent. His big shouty man promos that like. When people, he bounced, yeah. putting his promos was awesome. I love how his son is also on like Reddit and the internet as well and he'll just kind of post pictures of his dad and he just He's sounds super like, proud of his dad. Yeah, isn't he? he just sounds like such the loveliest person and father as well. So always so nice to hear. Yeah, covering him in OSW was a pleasure cuz I didn't have the memories of him being amazing <laughs> but he absolutely <laughs> was. Sorry, sorry. Oh, was, uh, trying to be stealthy there. Like his run with Hogan his tag team run with Tuggers was great. Yeah. Squashing Damien. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, good that stuff. Was, yeah. That was awesome. Dungeon of Doom bollocks. Oh, the shark. Yeah, the shark. Yeah, Maze yeah. balls. Yeah. And then his actual shoot career as an actual sumo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Will you become the Hulk Hogan of Tokyo? <laughs> well, before I become the Hulk Hogan of Tokyo, I have to lose my sumo body and turn into a wrestling body. Lose a little weight. Great guy. Legendary wrestler. And of course... Dick fat muffin topping out of his onesie. Oh man, just it's like a little black hole, just you know, all the light just sucks in. <laughs> <around the crotch. laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's his bottom boy. So just to go back through Nathan's school of boy, school of boy, we have S.A. Rios, Nails, Maven, Big Boss Man, and bottom boy, Earthquake. Oh, a fabulous fantastic. stable. Mm. I think we got some new ones in there, you know, as well. I like hearing about Maven, I like hearing about S.A. Rios as well. Yep. So nice. It's a selection as well of like beef, because Maven was always in great shape. Boss Man was a bit more rotund, depending on the air. Um, Earthquake, you know, he's. he's <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you have useless nails, so, you know. And high playing S.A. Rios. It's oh, a great, great selection of boys. It's Excellent. a full on. What, what do you call it? Like Cabri's selection box. A selection yeah. box. Yeah. It's a selection box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, cheer, man, a beautiful tattoo. Well done. That well is done, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Awesome. Congratulations to the artist as well. Amazing, amazing work. Okay, that is Main Event Mafia Take Over Impact done and dusted. What do we got next? OC's favorite part of the show. Mm. It's gonna be V1 Hawking Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the next 16 impacts. <laughs> Here we go, 60 hours a week on Impact. Let's do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your TNA Genesis opening contest. It is a six man tag team elimination match. Starts off a special unadvertised X Division six man elimination match. We got Sanjay Dutt, Jimmy Rave, and Kiyoshi versus EY and LAX. Dutt and Homicide kick off trading moves like an arm drag and spinning head scissors. Sometimes that's all someone needs is that confidence knowing that they can do, you know, something of that magnitude. It's- this was a surprise match that was announced at the beginning of the show because supposedly Christy Hemi got injured Dang. training in the ring and she wouldn't return for seven months. It wasn't until August that she came back. So uh, definitely going to miss her. She, she got her, She got paid though, right? 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. She got her massive downside guarantee, which is like as big as some of the Wait, male it's January. superstars. You can, here's the whole. Do you know, do you know? What do you mean you're gone for the year? There's no. That's 150 grand I'll have to there's give There's no better time to get yeah. hurt. Yeah. January. Oh, what a legend. Um, <laughs> legend anyway, of the overpaid woman. <laughs> I don't have any notes for this match really at all. I said it's a very good moves match. LAX do loads of moves. And because Hernandez won the Feaster Fired briefcase, it's completely centered around him doing dives, power moves, throwing people around. And of course, he gets the win because it's down to three on one and he smashes them all and comes out the big victor. Big. Oh, so the finish. Hernandez pulls himself up and over to sit on the top rope. Which is a great spot. He pushes off Jimmy Rave and big pancake splash by Hernandez for the one, two, three. Oh man, he got... <laughs> Just, He's such oh, a beast. Poor Jimmy Rave. <laughs> the Mega Power! WrestleMania 5! Next up, X Division Championship. The Motor City Machine Guns explode. It's Alex Shelley versus Chris Sabin. When they both come out, they both come out one after the other, but they don't just leave the song playing. They kind of stop and start again for the same song. It's really weird. I actually have this very same point written down. One of my favourite gimmicks it was Vengeance 2001 when Matt fought Jeff. They came out and they just let their song play on. So you got to hear parts of the Hardy Boy song that you'd never heard. But you can't Loaded. do that in TNA because they don't write songs. They write 40 second sound bites and it's going to loop anyway. So. 218 pounds, Jeff Hardy! 223 pounds, Matt Hardy! There was also a Sean versus Triple H match for like Christmas 97, where they just let the song keep going. Ooh, nice. Mm. Because Undertaker wouldn't fight back. This has been a... Well, Sean Michael. We have a sold out crowd here tonight. Hmm. It was only the uh, maestro himself, Jeff Hardy, that changed it all up. Proper songs. Yeah, Bonnet. Bonnet. At At the top. At the top. Which is a great song. Legit. Very modest. (laughs) <laughs> to, to the top to the top the top the top the top the top gonna get a little preview sorry uh, when did the mega powers explode here with the guns they didn't the build of this there's been a tournament to create two number one contenders after they took it from EY after EY and Shelly and Saban were at the opposite ends of the brackets and they both won and on the go home show they, they were asking them so uh, you know is, is the belt gonna come between the two of you and they were like no and it didn't. <laughs> so yeah. good show. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. They were like, "No, we're we're mates, and if one of us wins, then different gravy." Yeah. <laughs> 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 Are you saying boo or boo? Are <laughs> you saying boo or different gravy? <laughs> so KG start as both competitors know each other inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how was this match? Eh? Man, this match is so good. Just like lots of holds yeah. and reversals and like super intricate wrestling spots that not many other people could actually do and pull off and do it at a super high pace as well. Phenomenal wrestling. This is like my favorite type of wrestling. It's fast paced, but it's not just crazy flippy spots. It's still based within the world of grappling and wrestling. And so they're doing moves, trying to win. And not just pop a crowd, you know? And it's like fast-paced, choreographed wrestling. Yes. Like, so it's not just move and move. It's like this leads into that, which leads into this, which leads into that. It was exceptional. At the start, the fans seemed kind of quiet because technically both of these guys are heels and they don't know who to cheer for. But then once they start to do their spots and then, you know, the wrestling gimmick where you get up and you both kind of pose off and then the fans just get up and cheer them and they don't stop for the rest of the match and Don West has a great line I know that they're dicks but, <laughs> but goddamn, I can't hate them because they're so goddamn good 
Don West, you're absolutely correct. He doesn't mean the tag team, the dicks. <laughs> the, the, the Tolans. <laughs> Amazing. So uh, Shelley hits a flipping leg drop from the top rope to Saban, who is draped on the ropes. And then Saban gets up and hits a top rope tornado DDT. Shelley hits a self rock bottom, but he hits it onto the turnbuckle. So it actually works. My God, he's found the way. He, he's found the way. <laughs> Saban fires up and hits a gorgeous tiger suplex. Shelley hits a massive clothesline and an emerald frozen and a power bomb. And then Saban gets up the knees from a frog splash. But then Shelley hits a second one and a third and gets like a 2.999. It was fantastic. Here he goes again and he hits it this time. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh my God. Saban smashes Shelley with his own clothesline and cradle shock to get his own 2.99 and the fan just bursts into this is awesome chance. Super kick. Slice bread. Shelley gets a two. Then Saban hits his own super kick. So Saban hits a kick and then Shelley does the gimmick. You know where the wrestler kind of like throws his head back and spits? Yeah. And then there's this girl in the front row and I'm guessing that she wasn't a fan. And she gets up and she starts going like, no, oh my God. And she's like pointing at the tooth and her boyfriend is like, and she goes, oh, okay. (laughs) Fantastic (laughs) stuff. Uh, Then we're into the finish of the match. Sorry, just before we finish, uh, I am around Frozen. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know the way one of the things, uh, you know, my favorite tag team is Motor City, (laughs) Motor City (laughs) Machine Guns, right? But I was watching a bit of Guns Against Gen Me. Oh, oh, oh wow. The Ultimate X match. Yes. But, and obviously, this people are going to shit all over this. But Gen Me ran rings around the guns. Wow. They're amazing. That's a huge statement. And, like, I know you know they're amazing. And I know you know they're amazing. But people don't like them. So they don't want to admit how good they are. So I just wanted to say that. I just, are we yeah. talking about Gen Me here? Yeah. Okay. They don't like them as Gen Me. They don't like they don't those like two people. Oh, yeah. really? N- yeah, you know, Nick and Matt Jackson, they don't like them. Shoot. Yeah. Okay, they're, are they a bit knobby? No, they're, they're really nice guys and really good wrestling and they I love wrestling. I hear they're a bit knobby. You know, on the word on the grapevine. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. if Punk Go, uh, says it, then it must be true. Yeah. And that's, oh, all no. I, that's all I wanted yeah, yeah. to say. Uh, Gen yeah. Me, back then and Gen Me today okay. are amazing. I love that you don't call them the young bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't. In uh, Wembley, I will be yeah. shouting for Jen Mee. AEW anyway. World Tag Team Champions, Jen Mee! <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Get those flares on you. Yeah. Oh, you see, that, that's the only issue I have with them. But anyway, yeah. anyway, we, yeah. we, 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 we move on. Uh, did we do the finish of the match? Finish of the match. Shelley's booked off from doing a slice bread and slumps. Immediately attending to his ankle. Sneaky B was feigning and schoolboy Saban. One, two, three, and Shelley is the new X Division champion. 16 minutes and 40 big seconds. Wait a minute! What? One, two! He tricked him! He tricked him for him! It was amazing. It was shit. It was the worst. The worst match? To the greatest. We did like, more Gen Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah. This guy set foot in TNA. You've been sick of it. We have uh, two main events tonight. First main event, Sheik Abdul Bashir <gasps> versus... Can anyone guess? Interpol. Alan <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Alan> Shearer. <laughs> we have got the Shane Sewell. Woo! Oh my God. You know what the best thing about Shane Sewell is? Amongst many things. His entrance video. It's just... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just him getting angry. Is he a gif? <laughs> Pretty much. Do you, do you like his song? 
the uh, Rocky, but you know it's turned into TNA version. Go on, okay, go, okay go it's go like on, Rocky go is okay. Yeah, then did it, 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 yeah. And then the TNA version is like, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, done. Yeah. Ten on ten. Minor issue with Shane Sewell. Not liking the ring gear. Like baggy t shirt and baggy tracksuit bottoms. Yeah, the workout pants are. He <laughs> works in Foot Locker. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. That's literally what he is. It's a shame because he's got everything else. Like, Every, in, in spades. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, you know, the way Roman got so much better when he got out of his fucking flak jacket. Gear, flak, yeah. yeah, that crap. You know, that's all Shane needs. So, um, you know, it's looking good. Anyway, he is not over. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have guessed? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Except I, Darcy. I cannot believe the reaction. Did I get it so wrong? Well, there was one, it was silence, except for like one house in Castle Knock. We just <laughs> blew up. Look for the house with no roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember you weren't that high on him, but like... You I love how you're like, you weren't that high. <laughs> <laughs> Implying that there was some height, you know? <laughs> so but funny. This, honestly, I, I, I remember this so wrong. So anyway, right? We'll go with the start. So Shane starts with the mosh strikes. Do you remember mosh? You okay. know your favorite the, scene from Raw, the backstage. Oh scene yeah, in the, Raw. Club, yeah, the clubbing yeah, blows. The clubbing <laughs> blows. Yeah. <laughs> so we can. Can we have a little splicey that? I haven't we seen can, that in yeah, a while. Yeah. Unless it gets copyright, yeah. then you no, no, can we can get, we can get it. Okay. Yeah, please, please. Chance. Nobody wants you here. Leave. What the hell's going on? Man, allegations of beating his girlfriend Mariana has made Chaz a very un. Wait, they're only allegations, I JR. Know, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> How is he supposed to get over? <laughs> Your wife, Peter, that gets thrown out of the locker room. <laughs> and the fuck off. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, so we've got seven count punches in the corner and Nas on Bashir's head. <laughs> he is fucking hype. Hype. He's fire. <laughs> He's fire. He's got hot takes. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> How is this match in general? Competent. Like, there's no point me sitting here bullshit news. I'm not saying he's the next Kurt Angle. I'm not even saying he's the next Chaz. Is, Chaz is he the is next Chaz, Chaz Warrington? <laughs> I don't know what he could be. Solid Legends champion. I can't see him going further than that. Oh. Can't call him a legend, Lane. <laughs> gonna have to change the name of that belt. He can be the TV champion. Would you put the TV belt on him? I wouldn't, no, but I'd appease you. I, uh, I yeah, yeah, you know, we'd do it for you because it would make you happy. Yeah, okay. We yeah, would tanker like- mid-card for you. Yeah. <laughs> as, soon as, <laughs> as soon as you go for lunch, he's out the door. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I he, he got me with the the Hulk ups. Um, I I've never seen a better Hulk up. Not even from Hulk Hogan. I really loved. I really get, I get behind him and I believe it. I get. Oh. He is angry, like because I'll tell you why. In shoot, <laughs> in l- real life, that's what people are look like when they get angry. You know, it was like Jay when we were playing Salt and Sacrifice last week. That's what you look like when I, we were I fighting just, that ball. I just threw that in the controller. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I remember. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, he shoot angry. So, the finish. Bashir's fed up with Earl, swipes for him. Earl ducks <laughs> and slaps him back. <laughs> Ring around a seal. <laughs> Sunset flip. <laughs> and one, two, three. The ref's coup is complete. It was okay. it was about as good a match you will ever see from a referee in your life. But he's not a referee. You know, you know what I mean? Like he is a professional wrestler. Uh, they he- call him the referee Shane <laughs> Sewell, though. Uh, he got away, he found a loophole. Yeah, it was it was fine. But my only concern is this is his last pay per view match. 
It's not. Hey! hey. What is he got? Booker T at Against All Odds. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, for the Legends title. Ah, you uh, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Only we'll, one we'll winner that. here. We'll cover that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I, I'm willing to watch that one. But not a terrible debut, you know? If you're going to try to make him into a sympathetic baby face that you want to get behind, you have to have competent matches, but you put him in the ring with the guy who doesn't. <laughs> and, and so what we got was a 1981 Butlins match. <laughs> It was like, we, we worked to the big spot, which is a walking bro. <laughs> like, that's one step above the nails choke. Yeah. Like, they did give three walking brawls in a 10-minute yeah. match <laughs> and a two-minute waist lock. Yeah. Solid. Solid. They did nothing. And at the end of the day, I think on a TNA pay-per-view, this is wasted time considering the depth of amazing talent on their roster. And it's 10 minutes that could have gone to, you know... Taylor Wilde or Roxy, or yeah. Sanjay Dodd or you, Roxy, you know like Roxy. some amazing Roxy, more Roxy, well, Roxy. Roxy. Yeah. mainly Ro- Roxy Roxy versus Rocka Khan for 11 minutes ooh Roxy Khan <laughs> <laughs> Kong I'm giving a about Kong whoa, whoa. the TNA tag team titles the most desired set of bling in professional wrestling today Next up, three-way tag title match. So we got the champions, Black Machismo and Creed versus Monsters, Inc., Abyss and Morgan versus Beer Money. Oh, uh, when did uh, Creed and Lethal win the belt? Three days ago. On the go-home impact, Robert Roode had a kayfabe injury. He hurt his knee. And the Valiant Babyfaces came out to cash in their Feaster Fired briefcase. <laughs> And take on James Storm in yeah. a two-on-one match where where the dastardly heel champion valiantly fought off the two geeks for about the eight vultures. for yeah. about eight minutes and would have won except for an injured Robert Roode, picked up the briefcase, came into the ring, tried to cheat, but tripped because his knee was hurt, fell, hit his head off the what an idiot. briefcase, slipped on a banana peel, and the amazing baby faces used this to steal <laughs> the <laughs> world titles. Knockout, blow to the head, count two, the great new champion! Yeah. All right, here we go. A 15-minute, 20-second match kicks off with a timeout A storm scurries into the safety of Rude's crotch. I love that spot. It's great. This one did have a better one because they had one with Jackie also. Storm falls and then Miss Jackie falls face in his dick. And then Rude falls behind her. And then Rude kind of wakes up and goes, yeah. And he starts going, (laughs) yeah. And starts slapping her arse. Great. And that is the highlight of this match. This was not a good match. Okay, very good. Finish. Jackie distraction. Abyss mistakenly whacks Morgan with the tag title. Rude tries to capitalize. No. Lethal tries to capitalize. No. Cowboy last call super kick helps life partner Rude to win back their titles. From the Valiant Babyfaces who won it three days ago and have already lost. Across the chest of the pro Morgan. Charles slides in and counts three. Here are your winners and new TNA World Tag Team Champions, Beer Money Incorporated. It, it just felt to me back in this era, Beer Money were tag team champions like 90% of the time. Um, yeah. It's too much. It's too much. Did they have it? Who had a longer reign? Beer Money in TNA or in WWF uh, the Quebecers? <laughs> Well, like, the Quebecers were generally tag team champions as well. But it obviously in 93, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, 94. Four, five, six. I'm going to say the Quebecers had a longer reign, but in total beer money. Did time move slower for the Quebecers? <laughs> 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 Next up, we have, what are we saying? The second of six main events. So. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is a stacked time. You've never had so many main events. <sighs> All right. So we got, it's a six woman tag match. ODB, oh. Taylor Wilde versus the Kong Taraj, which is Raisha Saeed, Rocky Khan and Sojo Bo 
Sorry, who's on the baby face side? So we've got ODB, Taylor Wilde. And of course, Little Roxy. Little, Little Roxy. Little Roxy. Little Roxy. Little Roxy. I, had to, Roxy. Her I had to say her last, obviously. Yeah. She's going to come out right. last. She's the big deal in this match. Okay. Yeah. Maybe Roxy should have been part of the front line. Oh, yeah. They need so much. Uh, yeah. Come sh- out. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I lose all the time. Creed and Lethal will be so happy she can take all the loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, the stip is scoring the pinfall nets you a title shot. Um, sorry, I need more Roxy. What have you got Roxy wise for me? Yeah, go on, give us a, a Roxy. You were saying there was a, like a talkie with Roxy or something. Roxy was on ODB's angle. Oh yeah, how was that? Yeah, well, it was hilarious. She was basically like saying, uh, "Yeah, you know, I like to hang out with girls and go to the cinema, and I don't give a shit. You know, I don't, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I drop my popcorn on the floor. <laughs> I don't mind." It was just like <laughs> these sti- I'm these getting Roxy over. I don't mind. <laughs> Sorry, what did she say? That, that, that's basically it. I like to go to the gym, and <laughs> reading some comics, hit up the movies when I can with some <laughs> hanging out. All right. She is featured. Like in, yes, uh, in, in, in OSW. No, in, in TNA <laughs> in 2009, she is featured. She's a featured attraction. Taylor and Bolt kick off, literally with kicks to the thigh. Uh-huh. They kick off with kicks to the thigh. Yeah. Uh, no. I don't. get it. Like uh, I get it. Okay. Just. I, we've just already sure. given this match too much time. Okay. Lads. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, well. I just have fucking nothing. Match. ODB gets the win with the roll up on Raisha. Oof. And that's it. Let's move. Oh, on. and then uh, uh, Kong comes out and batters the new challenger. <laughs> Just put her in her place. She just smashes her. I was like, well, I, I don't care about this. This man, I don't give a fuck. I lose all my matches. <laughs> <laughs> and it really boils down at this point to Kong and ODB. And Kong takes ODB up and just choke slammed her. Well, that'll send a message as much as anything. Kong, you can kiss my okay? And sorry, Spike. <laughs> Okay, next up, we got a no DQ bout between Kurt Angle and Jeff Jarrett. Is this the fifth main event? Actually, I, I miscalculated. This is the third, third of five main events. Okay. Yeah. So, fisty cuffs. Lovely Jarrett punches. Oh, they're amazing. Beautiful. Start throwing punches. Good God, what an exchange in Jarrett with shot after shot. That one right on the jaw. That last one just drilled him. Steve, what happens next? Electric chair on Kurt, and then a bit of walk and brawl on the outside. Mm. But it's good walk and brawl. It's an intense hatred walk and brawl. Like they're punching the shite out of each other. Kurt is wrestling with insane speed, and he gasses Jeff out within the first couple of minutes. He just makes Jeff just feed him, just get up, take a bump, get up take a bump and then after about four you can see that Jeff is having a tough time getting up and he has to go to the corner and grab the ropes and help himself up and then Kurt just steamrolls to the corner and Jeff backdrops Kurt outside he takes an insane bump that probably destroyed his knees I'm just like holy shit this match is amazing if you're saying like it's the best walk and brawl is it a power walk brawl <laughs> yes <laughs> okay that's all I got let's do it you interrupted him for that yeah oh, big time I did wait till the end of his paragraph. What more do you want? Yeah, but you were like motioning for a baby. He's like, oh, I got it. I got it. I seconds got it. I got there. it. <laughs> Tag me in, Steve. Tag, Tag me, me in. in. Beer from one of the fans at ringside and throws it right in Angle's face. Scariest spot on the entire show. Jeff Jarrett does. Chugga, 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 chugga. He builds up a big head of steam, sprints towards the ropes, tries to do the taker dive, and his foot catches, and he Brie Bellis, and he just goes out. No. Down. Oh, Jared over the top, and he just crashed right down, and I think their heads collided. Yeah, just it wasn't clonks good. his head. It looked very scary. Um, luckily, wasn't bad. Then Angle goes to the announce desk. He picks up the ring bell, cracks Jeff over the head, and then he like juts him in the like top of the head, like the crown. And Jared gets a gusher from it. I was like, that was really mean, Kurt. That <laughs> that was a shoot shot, you know. 
two of them fight up the ramp. Jared hits a DDT on the ramp. As the camera zooms in, you see the blood pissing out of his head. And then Angle fires back with a massive angle slam from the stage to a table below. Commentators earn their wages here. They put this over like the most epic fight and brawl you'll ever see. But Kurt, oh wait a minute! Oh my God! Angle slam! Angle slam! Jared to the table on the concrete. The two of them slowly get up, and they both crawl back to the ring, slowly just building up the drama. Don West going mental, and then they get in the ring, go face to face, slowly get up, and you think you're special. Well, they are, because they bait the shite out of each other again, trading fantastic-looking punches. Then Jarrett grabs Angle's arms, hooks them, hits his pedigree. That's not really a pedigree. It's quite mm, looking. Double under, hook, and a try. Oh, plants him. Jarrett dropkicks a chair into Angle and gets a 2.99999 count, because Angle is the best who's ever done it. Yes. Angle gets up, hits an angle slam for a 2.98888 from Jarrett, <laughs> who's great, but not quite <laughs> angle level. Jarrett goes out, he gets his guitar. Kurt hits a low blow. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Picks up Jarrett's guitar, and the fans cheer. Looks over the corner, he sees a chair. He picks up the chair. He polls the fans. The fans choose Jarrett's guitar. So Angle drops it, uses the chair, smacks him. Absolutely wallops him. Gets another near fall. Long ankle lock. That's reversed into a Jared near fall. Then Jared reverses a slam into a DDT. Jeff hits Angle with a chair. And then he eventually pins Angle. But is rolled over. And Angle scores the pin to end this incredible match. Oh man, it took him too long quick, to get... Oh, the quick reverse on Angle gets the three count. Here is Hugo. What a fucking match. I did go on to the Wrestling Observer site. I read Meltzer's review of this. Glowing praise. He loved this match. Put it over like nothing else. And then gave it a 4.5. I'm like, he was so much meaner back then. Nowadays, this is easily a 5 plus star match. I thought this was an incredible match. Thought it was better than the one that they had at Bound for Glory. And I thought that that match was amazing. It's one of the best... TNA singles matches that I've seen. The intensity and the fans were into everything. The storytelling. This match had drama. It was athletic. It was intense. It was gripping. And I loved every second a match of the year. Well, uh, sorry, what was the kind of story of the match? Two guys hate each other who want both of them gone. So they're willing to just do absolutely everything so that they're the only one left. Uh, I loved it. Okay. And if you think about the future here of TNA and what's at stake in this match, this is huge for the main event mafia to get this win. When you're a soldier, you want to be on that front line because when you fight for something you believe in, you will do anything to succeed. Second last main event, TNA World Championship, Sting, the champion versus Rhino. Thanks for denoting Sting is the champion. It could have been any <laughs> yeah, no, it a, it a <laughs> coin toss there, Rhino. like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we start headbandy and actively bleeding Rhino he Pearl Harbor hilarious. Sting from the front as soon as he enters the ring. And what happens in this? It's a bit of a theme on this show. Nothing. Immediate brawl to the outside. Oh yeah. Sting, big t shirt sting, mm. can't do fucking anything. <laughs> <laughs> big mid card <laughs> rhino. <laughs> Getting a forced push of some leader of the front line that no one wants. Go away. Don't want this match. Don't want to watch it. It's coming. Like You're having this match follow Angle and Jarrett. Are you having a laugh? They had zero chance. But even if it wasn't following that match, they still wouldn't have a chance. Question is, Rhino's bandage head, is that supposed to be hilarious? (laughs) Because it's up there with um, Shark Boy when he gets beaten up. Yeah. And he has the... Um, uh, the little cross plastic. Yeah, on yeah, on, on his fin. <laughs> like, oh, it's like, that's what I see when I see yeah. it. Considering the condition that he's in and Sting able to sidestep him and you... 
Oh, it's so bad. Like, they do nothing. It's punchy, cakey. Sting, who doesn't understand his role as the leader of the biggest heel group, works the crowd like a face. But I can also see why he did it, because the crowd were dead, and maybe he just wanted to get something out of them. Is that a good heel thing? If he said, hey, I'm a heel, but the crowd love me more than you. Do you know what I mean? I think if you worked it into the story and the commentators were in on it, you could put it across like that. But to just go out and do it, yeah, yeah. it didn't make sense. After <laughs> ages, Sting finally takes off his shirt and kind Woo. of looks like a champion, but then follows it up with a two minute and 30 second bear hug. Sting knows what he's doing and he puts that elbow right into the gut. Oh, and he's back into the bear hug again. So finish, the outcome never in doubt, Rhino misses a gore. Eats a stinger death drop. One, two, three, and Sting retains in eight minutes twenty. As Sting hits it, Sting's got it. Sting retains. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is still TNA Heavyweight Champion of the World. Here I come, Sting. This was the worst thing on th- this entire show. Oh, sure worst than Roxy. I'm sure it was. Unbelievable. So our final main event of the evening. Is How many is that now? <laughs> That's five. They're on the fifth one. Okay, right? fantastic. So six. Five main, main events. Six <laughs> <laughs> five main events, aka five main events. <laughs> <laughs> Six-man hardcore tag that nobody wants. We got Mick Foley and the TNA Frontline, which is AJ and Devon versus the main event Mafia, Booker, Steiner, and Nash. Oh, my God. Main, like, this is your closing match. This is pay-per-view. the first wrestling match of Mick Foley in TNA yeah. also, and I don't think they even talked about it. I think it's maybe we don't know how shite you'll be. So. Yeah. Mm. But, like, then don't have me. <laughs> Main event Devon. <laughs> Main <Yeah>. event. <laughs> wait, 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 so what happened? So Kevin Nash. What happened so Nash? it was announced earlier in the show that <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Nash, who was meant to be in the main event of this show, couldn't appear. He had a staff infection and he was due for surgery the next morning. And so they had, and I quote, an exceptional replacement, cute Kip. Mm-hmm. And he comes out to utter silence right what, is, is there a theme song does he come out to the beautiful people song i can't i, I can't it, like, remember <laughs> <laughs> or is that the one mini gun oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no that's raw <laughs> they have brought in a tag team specialist is he wearing his, his like classic Q Kip gear? He wasn't wearing the the, the garters. Okay, okay, he yeah. he uh, <laughs> put God. those off, you know, and he just had his trunks on, so he did look a bit better, right? And Mike Tanay, God bless him, tries to put him over by like saying, "This is a great replacement. He's a tag team specialist, and he will greatly help the main event mafia in this match." And then they give Kip a mic. <gasps> And he gets on the microphone and says, Who are you expecting? <laughs> the lights are on, it's the James game. The fans not too appreciative. Well, who the hell did you expect? <laughs> Where's the lie? He says, I deserve this spot. I'm a 10 time tag champion, two time intercontinental champion, and a one time hardcore champion. No reaction. Mm. He pauses. Mm. He thinks. Then he goes, Well, what about them Carolina Panthers, (laughs) eh? They suck. (laughs) And and then the fans go, (laughs) So yeah, he he manages to squeeze something. Main event Kip. And you know you can count on me, unlike the crappy Carolina Panthers. 
Is that better or worse than main event Los Bariquas, Savio Vega? If you were the main event mafia and like you looked down at the ramp, would you rather see Cute Kip or Savio Vega, Los Bariquas? That, that, that's the most, that is <laughs> fucking stupid. I love it. I yeah. Obviously, I love yeah. the question. Now, give me... Uh, no, no. Savio's way too high. Give me give yeah. me, give me, me one of the other ones. Jose yeah. Estrada? Give me Jose Estrada. Uh, All right. Oh, no, I'll take Estrada. What was that big event in Montreal? Don't, no, no. It was, Canadian Stampede? That's the one. You know, was it like the big what? eight-man tag? Yeah, yeah. Ten-man tag, maybe? Yeah, so uh, say Brett is injured and Jose Estrada... <laughs> <laughs> Just, just take out the, you know, the screech, the iconic Bret Hart song, <laughs> and just have Los Mariquas. <laughs> <so good. laughs> I wish that happened. Holy shit! Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, okay. So, did not. So, I mean, how did Q Kip do? How did Q Kip do? Well, he kicks off in the match against Best in the Business AJ Styles, showcasing Gunn's overpowering size and strength. So, not too bad. Okay. What do you think happens immediately after that? Walk and Brawl? Walk and Brawl walk and on the outside. Oh, nice. This is a damn it, D-Lo. Every fucking match on this card. Foley gets up on the apron, teases his big elbow drop to the outside, denied Fuck you, TNA. You're not getting it. He doesn't do it. Watch Mick Foley, hardcore legend, up on the top. And boy, look at them scatter. Oh, they don't want to have that big body land on top of them. They try hard, but this is a big, dirty TNA impact match, just slightly longer. AJ works hard, but it can't cover for the fact that this is a mess of a main event. It's a disaster, and it's not very good. Foley's old. Devon is not a main event player. Q-Kip. Not a main event player. Steiner can barely go. Um, Nash was not in the match. Nash was he not. Can't there. go at all. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went. <laughs> he went. <laughs> so Foley tags in. The match devolves into an absolute mess of a brawl. Just a big schmoz, and the bell is rung. It's a DQ. No, it's not. Corny comes out because this is wrestling. This is a big international pay-per-view. <laughs> and he restarts the match as a hardcore match. And then the lads begin to waddle about and <laughs> smack each other with shit as the fans don't care and just chant for tables. Crowd letting you know what else they want to see in this matchup. Nothing would surprise me at this point. That's for sure. Foley brawls his way to the announcer's desk, grabs a mic. He tells Devon to get the table but the mic isn't on and you can't hear him. He grabs a second mic. He repeats the line, Devon, get the table. That mic is, isn't working. <laughs> Luckily, he's picked up by the microphone on the camera so you can barely hear him. The best spot of the entire match, AJ does a springboard splash to the outside to put Kip through a table. But he came scarily close to smashing his head off of the announcer's desk. Wait a minute, AJ's gonna fly! AJ's gonna fly! AJ put him right through the table! Finish. Roly poly poly. Roly poly. So finish. Spinneroony. Suck it to me. Cool bin from Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> the cool bin. The cool bin. Yeah. Chair shot. But Foley makes a comeback. Foley, that young upstart, <laughs> fights back on his own, hits a double arm DDT onto the chair, and then pins Steiner clean for the win. The front line. Well, they have to get a win. Has done it. Yeah. You're not put fucking AJ Styles over. No, 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 can't can be done. Can't be done. For one night, I'll be as good as I ever was. And tonight, here in Genesis, Mick Foley was that good. 14 minutes. What a match. No, it wasn't. For the ages, Jay. For the ages. Ah, match for the ages. Yeah. For, match for the aged. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I still laugh when you used to. Oh, uh, very good. You, you uh, yeah, yeah, Foley gets the win in mm. an incredibly disappointing mess. A house show brawl match with no good wrestling. Mm. Steve, where's Samoli and Joe? There was a cage match in the main event of Impact and the main event Mafia crashed the, the cage. <laughs> Do you want to hear how stupid the baby faces are? I think it was Joe and AJ. 
AJ climbed out of the cage, which left Joe two on one against the Mafia. They fucking destroyed him. They grabbed a chair and they destroyed his arm and took him out. Oh, Pillmanized him, kind of. Uh, it's just like a tag team cage match in a wrestling game. Mm. If you leave, you're leaving your partner to the wolves. If you're doing a tag team cage match, you let the other member of their team yep. get out first. It's a doddle then. Yep. Oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. But in the end, the front line wins the war. Thanks to Mick Foley. Yeah, so uh, that is the end of this show. Um, Did they draw anything on his face? Or? <laughs> <laughs> A big cock. <laughs> they teabag over. <laughs> okay. So that was Genesis. Two exceptional matches. Absolutely worthwhile going out to see. Saban versus Shelley, amazing. Angle versus Jarrett, incredible. They make the show good enough. But then everything that followed that is quite disappointing, especially Sting and Rhino is a disaster and main event tag match is a calamity. But it's quite funny. Mm, okay, so just watch it for those two matches. Definitely. Uh, Guns and Angle Jarrett. Yeah, obviously I'm not going to cover it, but no, we had a rematch of Bashir versus Sewell the next week on Impact. <laughs> oh yeah? How was it? No. Oh. <laughs> Don't you dare, man. It was Don't, shit. You can't do it. It's nearly 12 o'clock. It was like. shit and I had a DQ yeah. finish. Okay. Oh, and did he do that? <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, which makes it at least two stars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the crowd here in the impact zone, they want to turn him loose as well. They're saying, let them fight. They'll get their chance and against all odds. Backstage, the main event mafia beat down Lil Petey. Yeah, they batter him. So Big Papa Pump drags him up this ladder and he pushes him off. And Petey Petey goes, (laughs) (laughs) and you don't see him fall. And he's just lying in this pool of fake blood as people go like, ah! (laughs) <laughs> it was a mafia hit <laughs> who, who, who knocked over my swell bucket of paint <laughs> um, hold on was Scott coaxing Petey up the ladder no, so the members of the mafia had battered him you know yeah. and so the camera goes like oh there's a beating happening right now we're gonna to the back yeah. uh, and then made beating Pumpy picks him up <laughs> and <laughs> drags him up the ladder and <laughs> pushes him off Scott drags him up the ladder. Yeah, like like pulls him, you know, like a wrestling drag, you know, uh, where yeah, you like yeah, yeah, yeah. grab they the each other, back yeah. at her top and he yeah, just yeah. walks. Oh, I you thought know? I thought the mafia were beating down Petey and Scott was like, "Come up here to the safety of the, of the top of the ladder." <laughs> <laughs> safety of the top of the ladder. <laughs> Steve, that's so much better than what they did. Come up to the safety of this ladder. Oh my god. So, this episode of OSW is on the books. In the bucket. Out of sight. Next up on OSW, maybe Sting was right to suspect Kurt because it's Sting versus Kurt Angle for the TNA Championship in an empty arena match. Homie oh, meow. Oh, oh, we got it. It's crazy looking. Well, actually, no, it's well after halftime heat, but it's a while since halftime heat, so it's a what's old is new again, and uh, sorry, Steve, but you true. Eh? Oh, yeah, you know? no, I'm up for that. Yeah, yeah? excellent, that. excellent. So is that after Destination X, but before lockdown, is it? No, it's like February. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, nice. Ah, oh, man, thank you so much for the Genesis recap. I enjoyed that. Oh, I, I would have done it way shorter than that, but Jay is like, I'm going to cover all the matches on Genesis. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I was going to cover three of them. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Uh, That's a quick yeah, one. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I do, you know, I, I know the score. I'm not, I'm not an idiot, like, yeah. you know? Played along. I, I yeah. enjoyed the um, Sewell. I enjoyed your Sewell commentary. I was a bit sad that he's let you down. Yeah, basically, that's that, you've kind of na- hit the nail on the head with that one. Does that make him more or less of a boy? He's good question. That's really no. He's he's increased his boyhood. Yeah. But he's he's time out though. Yeah. 
<laughs> naughty stuff. Yeah, no TV for a week. <laughs> <laughs> no what are we going to do with him? Like? Yeah, porridge, but no sugar. But what happens when he gets restless and frustrated? What am I you supposed gotta to do? you got to put him down. you got to put him... Not, 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 not <laughs> make him out in the back, but I meant put him to bed early. Yeah, but he won't settle. He never settles for me. Uh, do you have a suitor? You just get a suitor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want a suitor dipped in like brandy or something. You know? It's Shane Stool. The kids love that. It's Shane Stool. <laughs> but when Booker calls him that, did he? Yeah, yeah. There's a backstage promo the following week where Booker goes in to speak to Cornette. Ah, I want a match. I want to take on this Shane Stool guy. <laughs> Legend. Shane Stool. His stock has never been lower. <laughs> Shane Stool. Look, all right, all right. Uh, so, Jay, yeah, look, yeah, go on, if yeah. I bring him to swimming, yeah. to his swimming lessons, will you look after the rest of them? Yeah, yeah. Sure, okay, sure. go on then. Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll, we'll yeah, sort yeah, it. But you got to provide your own muggles. Ah, the what? You see, it's come. Yeah. It's come. There you go. Three people. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, if you want to keep this great TNA gravy train going, uh, chuggle it, chug, chug, chuggle it. Uh, you can sub us a couple of bucks and watch a mock lots of early editions and episodes and reviews that we haven't released. Uh, and some of them might be just for you, like deleted scenes. Everything we cut out from the show. Tap the nose. Um, <laughs> I do like a commentary and whatever. There was like an hour long one that I did for Bound for Glory because, geez, we just packed so much in. It's so great talking about DNA. But you can uh, slip us five bucks and watch it at noggeru.oswreview.com. So it's a goodbye from V1. Take our boo. Oh, I see. Ready? And myself, Jay Hunter. And remember, see you in the funny pages. And remember, a winner is you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.